Monday? Um, I think you saw two great teams going at it, honestly. Um, they're a great team. Um, they run their system very, very well. Zach's a load inside. Um, but we honestly just played hard. We played together. And we uh, really feeded off the crowd. And um, um, a lot of the second half didn't go our way, but we still fought through and um, found a way to win. Jalen, uh, Coach Woodson said that uh, at the end there that uh, you wanted the ball. You wanted to, to take that shot. Uh, so when they draw it up for you to go up down the lane against a seven foot four guy to score, how did, uh, how did all that happen? And uh, how did you feel from a comfort level to make that get done? Yeah, I mean, obviously I didn't know the play was you know going to go like that. But um, when you called timeout, I told Coach I was like, I'm going to get this last bucket. And obviously, as you see, that's what happened. So, you know, I, I was happy with it. Jalen, uh, you had a tough game on Tuesday. I mean, just kind of illustrate the composure that you showed today to bounce back in on the big stage? Yeah, I mean, when, it, when games like that, your shot's not falling. I don't really look at it as a bad game to me. Um, I went one for 14, but in my head, uh, I still shot the ball. So I, I took a positive from that. In some games, it's going to be ups and downs. You're going to miss shots. So you got to find ways to impact the game. And you know, tonight was one of them nights where I feel like I played well. Obviously, Trace played well, and the rest of the guys played well. And it was a good team effort. Jim? Trace, uh, knowing coming into this game it was going to be a big matchup, it wasn't just you and Zach Eady, but obviously that was going to play a big part into this game. And the defense seemed to take a, a level up. You guys moved it up a notch today. Everybody was flying around, arms flying. Uh, you forced Purdue into 10 first half turnovers. How important to that was it to uh, getting your game going today? Um, it was huge. Um, just relying on my teammates, um, our game plan, um, just doubling the post, and they did an excellent job in the first half. And um, it really brought us out to that lead, and then we kind of carried it through the second half and rode it. Um, obviously, they hit back, but um, all around, it was a great team effort. Trace, Jalen scores, I think, 12 of his 16 in the second half. Obviously, he's had to shoulder a much bigger load with X out now for a sustained period. What can you say, I guess, about his growth over the last couple months as a player and the fact that you know, he's a freshman making plays like that down the stretch against a team like Purdue. Um, it's huge, honestly. Um, he lives for these big moments. Um, I mean, in the first half, I was kind of carrying the load a little bit. And then the second half, he was carrying the load. And that's something that we can do. We got a lot of pieces on our team that are just interchangeable. They can do big things. And um, he's a great player. And I love it when he gets to that many because it's really unguardable. So. Yeah. Trace, it's a, kind of a cliche. But we've asked you after a lot of games like this about why you guys couldn't make the little plays, the, the, the rebound, the steal, the put back, the, where I think Race gets two free throws. What's different about this team? How has this team grown into being able to make those plays in games like this? Um, I just think, though, um, it's just the toughness factor. I feel like um, teams in the past that I've been on just weren't, weren't that tough, honestly. And um, we've kind of played with a chip on our shoulders since the beginning of the year, since we got punked by Rutgers. And um, we've kind of found our niche. And um, that's what we're doing. And that's how we got to play the rest of the year. Jalen, what, what happened on the play when you had a breakaway and you, I don't know if you got fouled or what, but you went down to the ground and it looked like you were hurting there for a second? Yeah, my, um, my knee bulked a little bit, so it was a little scary at first, but I'm good. Great. Trace, I, I don't think we have a staff for this, but what, I mean, how many points was the crowd worth for you guys today? Um, they were our six man, honestly. Um, we fed off that, especially in the first half. I feel like just shot after shot after shot were dropping. And um, that was the most electric crowd I've been a part of since I've been here. Um, and um, they did a great job. So um, props to them. Um, they really helped us. Last question, Mason. Trace, earlier this year, you said that beating Rutgers was one of your goals going into this year because it's one of the teams you haven't beat What during your time here at IU. Woodson just said that your focus was shifting towards Rutgers already. What? Can you guys, I guess, take from this game and carry over to that one? Um, just our defensive intensity, honestly. Um, they're a great team. Um, they play very, very hard on defense, and um, they kind of bring that trap, kind of like Purdue did today. And so we just got to make adjustments, kind of watch film, and then get ready for them tomorrow. Thanks, guys.